Welcome to video number four in Katee's Autodesk Manufacturing Academy, Changing Materials in Autodesk Showcase. This is Jonathan Landeros, welcome back. In our previous video, we saw how we could assign a material, but now let's modify one that's already been placed in the model. If we look at our trash can, it previously had a screen on it which is showing up as solid. So let's go ahead and create that screen again. I'll go ahead and bring up my material library, I'll locate blue metallic, right click, and I'll duplicate it so I can make a copy that I can change. I'll go ahead and right click on it. And I'm doing this so I can choose the option to rename it. And I'll go ahead and give it a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it blue metallic grading. And this just helps me recognize it should I need to select it later. Now I'll go ahead and select the components I want to change, right click and choose properties, and I'm going to find the option for transparency. I'll select that, and I'm going to browse to an image icon that has that transparency built into it. I'll scroll through my library, and there's my image right there, and that's the map I'm going to use. I'll hit OK, and as I rotate around, this trash can does have a transparency, but the scale is really, really small, and the screen is way too fine. So we'll go ahead and right click and choose properties again. You may have to reselect that screen to make sure you've got everything exactly that you want, and I'm going to adjust the scale. In this case, I'm going to go to 25 in the X, Y, and Z direction. Once I do that, if we zoom around, you can see that the screen looks much better to scale and gives the appearance that that material is indeed transparent. So there we are, a quick tour of how you can go through and change material inside of Autodesk Showcase. Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you in our next video.